the internet the internet is the interconnected network of computers the internet uses protocols to transfer data protocols are rules that allows the exchange and transmission of data between devices some protocols are http hypertext transfer protocol used for the world wide web ftp file transfer protocol used to send files ssh secure shell for secure remote login imap internet message protocol for emailing volp voice over internet protocol for voice calls xmpp extensible messaging presence protocol for messaging services information with the internet people can get more information from whatever field they are interested in information on the internet spreads really fast so users will be up to date on information before the internet the go to for information was tv and radio let's see how they compare with the internet the tv and radio was not broadcasted all the time but the internet is available around the clock only a few channels were available there are millions of sources to check Content is decided by editors. Millions of people, millions of content. Only available within signal range. Accessible anywhere with internet. Limited when it comes to global info. Different content from global creators. Some content is geo-restricted. Held to enforceable standards. Hardly any standard check. Entertainment. Nowadays, you can find most entertainment services providing on-demand services like movie streaming, for example, Netflix or Disney Plus, music streaming, for example, Spotify. Some users prefer this over watching a movie in the theater or buying the DVD. When it comes to entertainment, the most popular thing online is memes. I'm sure you already know what a meme is. A meme is a joke that spreads quickly on the internet. Here's here are a few memes on study. Employment. The internet has opened various possibilities of employment. The impact of the internet on individuals when it comes to working can be narrowed down to these three things. Skill requirements. People might say using the internet is not a skill. It is not. But using the internet effectively and efficiently is. So employees who were less familiar in using the internet would have to start learning how to work efficiently online. Change of nature of jobs. With the internet becoming po more popular, the number of jobs focusing on the internet increases, providing more job opportunities. Skilled workers are needed to support the development of the internet. Skilled in the sense of online work and in the sense of maintaining the system. Job losses. Employees who are unfamiliar with the internet and are unwilling to learn and adapt would have to say bye to their jobs. This is particularly true to the older working population as the internet might be too much for them to learn. Working practices. Working practices is the way that people carry out a certain task as part of their job. You could say that the internet's impact on the working practice of an individual has had two main changes. Collaborative working. This allows work to be split into individual tasks. Some benefits of this would be each employee can work on one task and each employee can become an expert in their task. Drawbacks. Do not share skills or expertise. There is a reduced image of the big picture for each employee. Collaborative working could also lead to allowing more than one person on one task. Some benefits would be shared expertise and they can check each other's works. But some drawbacks might be difficult to coordinate with many people, difficult for many people to agree on one thing. Flexible working. Benefits. You can work at whatever time you prefer. You can fit work and family together. Drawbacks. Employees do not face meet face to face and they may not manage work in the right way. Flexible working. Work while traveling. Benefits. Access up to date information and work anywhere as long as there is internet. Drawbacks. If you are exhausted and long hours while traveling not have access to all facilities and resources.